best done, if I'm not mistaken, by four goals to two. Durich got a couple of goals, and then a Korean University team by a goal to nil, and drew with Vietnam to lift that cup. For the team that scores first, I think they'll have the upper hand for the rest of the game. Can he keep it in play? Su Chao does a brilliant job. Here's the first opportunity for Thailand. Brilliant save. Superb goalkeeping by Hassan Sunny. He must have seen that shot from Pong Kang Ya coming in very late. It goes out for a corner though. What a magnificent save, uh, Hassan Sunny. We're just speaking about the guy needs to be on the top of his game. Look at this. That is a magnificent cross. And look, I mean, uh, Tong Kanya did absolutely nothing wrong. It was a beautiful volley there. And a magnificent save by uh, Hassan Sunny. A very important one too. Play spread out wide very well. The cross comes in from Suti. Goes deep. Here's the chance for Thailand to take the lead. They take the handball. It is given by the referee. Penalty. And this is a nightmarish start for Singapore. Brian Robson has already celebrated. The good news for Singapore fans is that the last time Thailand were given a penalty was in a friendly match against Syria some weeks back. And Teratek missed it. A yellow card for Noah Alan Shah. A great cross there. Beautifully cut back. And uh, I'd like to see that a little bit closer. But... It might have been Alan Shah actually. If it did, if ball did go to hand, there's a definite penalty because it probably stopped it going in there. Well, there might not be lots of arguments with the penalty, but maybe the yellow card for Alan Shah will mean he'll miss a Wednesday's matchup, rematch between these two sides. But Thailand has an opportunity now to have the first say of this crucial Asian Cup qualifier. Of all people, Suti Suk Song Kit. <laughs> Guess his thing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Against Hassan Sunny. Tampanese teammates to Suti's move to Melbourne victory, and it's the Thai player who puts Thailand into an early lead against Singapore. Yeah, deserved lead, uh, uh, lead uh, Mark. You know, first couple of minutes, Singapore started very well, but in the last eight, nine minutes, it's been uh, all Thailand. And they look, they look very, very impressive going forward, and they're keeping the ball, and they've been very, very patient with it. Well done to them. Great take there by Suti, sending Hassan Sunny the, the wrong way. It's not easy to take a penalty against your former teammate. <laughs> Well, it's his 17th goal and that's the reaction from Brian Robson. Hasn't had much success as a manager back here from Singapore and the spirits will be up and soaring yet again. Wilkinson, that's a very good early first ball offside though, called by the assistant referee. Very unfortunate. But uh, a good ball played in by Johnny Wilkinson. Beautiful ball by Johnny. Uh, at first look, uh, Alex was with a formation but uh, with the energy levels too. Yeah, the ties have just running ragged. Their movement has been uh, fantastic. Uh, it's number two. Oh. Somehow, Hassan Sunny got to it. It was onside. He was uh, way onside there. He, That's too far <laughs> behind. Uh, any any uh, knockback, it's, uh, it's a tie player's ball. Good ball by Noah Alam Shah. Here's Mohamed Ridwan. Shot at goal. Did a goalkeeper touch it? No, says the referee. He dived to ensure. They worked very hard. They scored a couple from set pieces against Indonesia. What can Saifulisa do with this? Oh, it's floated. <laughs> might have shocked the goalkeeper. The delivery though wasn't too good, but it might have turned into a fortunate goal. <laughs> and uh, that's probably the only disappointment in Brian Robson, but he would be happy that they won zero up and the tendency with them. They're lining up for the shot. Straight at the goalkeeper though, Singapore still haven't cleared it yet, they have to now. They still have to him that time, not returning the pass. Two minutes off at a time. Durich trying to work something out for Wilkinson here. Wilkinson trying to put the ball back in, asking for a penalty. The referee says no. Yeah, he's been very disappointed so far. They've been very disappointed with the set pieces. Delivery hasn't been great. That's a really good one. It was close, with two Thai players getting to it. Every Singaporean went near post, but the Thais knew Suti was going to swing it right outside. It was so close to number 2-0. And as I said that, he puts on a magnificent ball in there, and it should have been 2-0. I don't know, oh, I don't know what the, how the Singapore defending was there. That was just all over the place, and uh, thank God he got underneath and lobbed it over. Should have been, and there's, and he would have... Yes. <laughs> In his days, he would have he would have he would have gobbled that one. He was magnificent. Head of the ball, Brian Robson. 
And Brian Robson's team does lead Singapore 1-0 at halftime. Will they be made to rue their missed opportunities, especially at the end of that first half? What will Radhi Abramovich do when Singapore come back for the second? The answers will be revealed pretty shortly. Very much so. They were all, uh, all over the shop uh, uh, in the first 10 minutes. And you can see the Thai boys just playing the ball around. And uh, they're moving off the ball magnificent. You can see this beautiful cut back there. Great shot there by Tonkanya. And a magnificent save by Hassan Sani to keep it 0-0. Yep, that's right. If it's not for Hassan Sani, it could have been much worse. And this is the incident that led to the penalty. Yeah, great ball there by, I think it was uh, Socho. Uh, good cut back by Tonkanya. And uh, Tonglao... Uh, volleyed it well maybe Danny Bellet will probably tell you he could have uh, you know uh, got her off the line but definite handball there by uh, Alam Shah I think it was yes Alam Shah and it resulted in him getting a yellow card which will mean that he's suspended for the return leg against Thailand but a good penalty by Suti yeah beautiful uh, beautifully taken there by uh, Suti very uh, cool calm and uh, sent Hassan Sunny the, the wrong way and a deserved 1 0 lead, and you can see the happiness on uh, Brian Robson uh, in the first 15 minutes. You were talking about those half chances that Singapore had in the first half. <laughs> it was really half chances, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, this is 35 meters out. I mean, okay, I, I said it's not a bad thing, but Ruddy's not happy because he wants the ball out wide to Ridwan to get the crosses in. But uh, I, want, I don't mind the, guy, uh, the defenders or, or even uh, the Mitchell is having a pot shot there like Ridwan did from here. That's as close as they got. Both Duic and Alam Shah will be moaning about the fact that they haven't had much service up front. No, the service has been uh, terrible for them. I mean, it's just been high, high balls. But look at this move here by the Thai boys. Beautiful play to Tunglao. Great shot and uh, well done, Hassan Sunny again. But the ball continues again. Can you talk about the shaky Singapore defence? Uh, we'll see a final opportunity in a short while after. We have a look at this. Could he have taken a shot there? Uh, maybe, but, you know, uh, to be fair to Johnny, the ball uh, came at him very, very quickly and uh, got on the wrong foot there. And that's just desperation to get a handball, but it wasn't. But this is probably the best chance for to make it 2-0. And a big miss there by uh, number eight there, Suchal. And you can see uh, the disgust in Brian Robson's reaction there because that would have been game over 2-0. Absolutely. Singapore, though, have to come back and they need to start the second half in a much brighter fashion than they did. Look at that for possession of a 70 to 30 Thailand. That's, yeah, that's that's incredible. Uh, and they're playing away, you know, and, uh, you know, to get that much possession and they, they won't be too happy with just a goal lead with 70% possession. So uh, they want to build up on that. And the only fortunate thing for Singapore is it's only what the only one nil down and there's uh, plenty of time 45 minutes to get back and hopefully uh, turn around second half and that second 40 you almost don't notice him on the pitch but he goes through a lot of great work Natapong Sanamana good cross inside climbing all over Saiful Isa that's Terasin Danga the referee spotted that and the whistle is blown even before he could hit the ball downwards Abramovich there. Uh, not Alam Shah, he's a little bit off his game, but more importantly, he's on a yellow card. And uh, a shot from Thailand beaten out by the goalkeeper Hassan Sunny yet again. He's been in splendid form tonight. Super save there by Hassan Sunny. And just too much. Uh, stepping in at the right time, stripping the ball away from Dangda, but back to Thai's come. And look at the time there before the game again. Just wide. <laughs> That's a Kantong Lao. My goodness, so when will the Singapore team in the second half? Here he is, Cairo Lumbri, going very wide to support. Saifalisa back to Cairo Lumbri. Nice ball played inside to Duric. Good little touch for Wilkinson. Oh, why didn't he take the shot? Why didn't he take the shot, John Wilkinson? It might have been the left foot, but even if it was something to make the goalkeeper work, why didn't he take it? It's beautiful play there by, by Cairo and Alex. And uh, with Johnny, and uh, I think Johnny's trying to cut it. Uh, Radhi Abramovich, but here it is, another set piece for Singapore. Now the fans are getting excited. They play it wide for John Wilkinson. This time he will shoot. He asked for a handball. And Duric, well, they're screaming at the referee. They're surrounding the referee now. They have to watch. It's Mustafa Farudin who leads the protest. 
Mustafic losing the ball in midfield, asking for free kicks, not going to get it. Nice little swivel and turn from Danga, good skill from the big guy. But Haki has to watch and does as well. He's very lucky there, Singapore, very lucky there by Faradine. They got no call, got pinched off by Danga and uh, great defending by Daniel Bennett and by Haki there. Let's see if Sharil Ishak is daring enough to take them on for a run. That's a superb pass by Sharil. Alexander Duric, it's open, it's free, there are no Singapore players inside the penalty box though. What a great ball there by uh, Sharil Ishak. We're talking about him Myanmar. not getting uh, the ball. Vietnam and Thailand. Let's see what how they defend this free kick. Oh! That was close. The Singapore head got to it first in the form of Mustafa Farudin. He just couldn't get see what he was trying to do, but it needed more swerve onto that. By Haki, poor touch from him. Daniel Bennett has kept Suja onside. And their players waiting for the cross to come in. And Kudu gets up Chaiman. Would you believe it? The two players who have scored against Singapore tonight try their trade in the S League. They've never heard of the face, do not bite the hand that feeds. Takes up Chaiman has surely put the game out of reach now. With 15 minutes remaining, it's Thailand 2, Singapore 0. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm completely stunned there, but what a magnificent uh, goal. What a beautiful ball by Suchao. That's just poor defending, poor running back with the third sack there. I mean, really only had one man to hit. But what a magnificent ball and what a magnificent finish by uh, the oldest man on the field there. I mean, there's just two defenders just ball watching there. Absolutely. It was his SAFFC teammate, Saiful Isa, who allowed Dertak to get a steal on him. The fans expect if they get a goal back here, it'll make the last 12 minutes very interesting. It's Hawkinson! And that wasn't very far away. Or was it the deception of the camera angle? Because Kosin did die for it and had everything covered. Well, we can wax lyrical about uh, Dotak Chaiman getting the goal, but let's not forget as well the wonderful work done by Su Chaiman. Is it onside? The referee says yes. And that is that. against his former teammate from Tampines Rovers, Hassan Sani. What a beautiful uh, goal, great movement, uh, magnificent ball by number 10, Dangda. Split uh, the Singapore defence, there's the split there. And, uh, well, Suti, how good is this guy? I'm not surprised Melbourne victory in the A-League have taken him because uh, that was magnificent. On the wrong side, I know he's a left uh, footer, but look at that, with his right, any striker or any potential young so I want to see finish that is a magnificent finish by Suti and uh, deservedly safe. That's as demoralizing and as deflating as it can get. Here's Cairo Amri. Does well. Is that a penalty? Oh yes it is. <laughs> well they haven't conceded a goal yet at this tournament Thailand. So here's Singapore's opportunity to puncture Kosin Katarakanakon's clean sheet record. It's been close to about uh, 180 odd minutes without conceding a goal. It'll be interesting to see that on the, on the replay, Mark. Uh, it looked like a definite foul from, uh, from up here. Here's the replay. Tyrell's in the box. And Tankrick. It's very soft. Yeah, it's a, it's, it is a very soft penalty. And uh, look, Singapore will take it at the moment, and they need to uh, score and give themselves, uh, give them, you know, them, themselves uh, a chance to at uh, least uh, get back into the game. But it's still a, a tall order to do that. Well, it was a very controversial penalty in the ASEAN Football Championships that resulted in Thailand walking out of that match, and it happened right about this time as well in the game. That, however, was for 2-1 Singapore. This is for 1-3 and for a glimmer of hope. The same person who took the penalty that night is behind the ball yet again. We're stopping for Rudy. There is no more card this time, but there is a yellow card for a high player. Saw the referee flashing one at him. Not sure who though. I don't think it's that time. He's trying to break up a little mob over there. 
Well, it can't be turf sack because he's already on the yellow card. If that was, uh, that would have been his second yellow card. So uh, I think it's uh, it's got to be another Thai player there. Kosin Hatwatahun against Mustafa Farudin. Well, Roddy will not be happy with his charges before his goalkeeper's not even on his goal at the moment. This is a farce, isn't it? <laughs> never, I've never ever seen anything like this before in my whole, in my whole career. Here. I don't know what the goalkeeper is trying to do. Well, he's trying to put Mustafa off. It's a little bit of gamesmanship here. Yeah, it's very unsportsmanlike there by the goalkeeper. I hope uh, Mustafa puts it in the back of the neck this time. He should be booked for that. The referee said it's okay. Do it again and you will. This is for 1-3. Singapore have a glimmer of hope and they have seven minutes to try to rescue this and yeah. score two goals. Yeah, beautifully taken there by Farouk Dean. Uh, he didn't get uh, put off. Obviously, the, the Thai goalkeeper did everything to uh, to put him off uh, his game there. But very, very nicely taken and uh, at least gives him a little bit of a hope. They've got about ten minutes. Suti's looking for his hat trick there. And, uh, with uh, Johnny Wilkinson, might be a little too intricate. That's not a bad cross. Oh, it's a bad miss though by Alexander Gurich of all people. That was a magnificent cross there by uh, Shaiful Issa, and uh, big Alex Gurich will be uh, really disappointed with his finishing there because that was right on the money. Look at this. That is a magnificent cross, and that should have been 3 2. And uh, the big fella doesn't deserve that because he's worked so hard tonight. Been feeding on scraps, and some intelligent pass to Tetsam. They're inviting him to shoot, which he does. Lacking in venom, Hassan Sunny trying to get the game rolling. It's just a uh, little more than a minute. two games, and uh, you know, it's you can see the frustration. And uh, they well done to Thailand. They definitely came here and they deserved uh, the 3 1. Uh, win and uh, now it just uh, puts the Singapore team on the back foot a little bit and go into Thailand to get a result. Absolutely right, so win will be imperative now for the Lions in Thailand. That happens on Wednesday, but on this Saturday at the National Stadium, the fans turned up. The Lions, however, did not turn up in the first half as Thailand were walking all over them. Let's have a look at the highlights. He's scratching his head, you know. Uh, look, they've only got themselves to blame. It was a poor performance in the first 45 minutes. It, and, uh, you know, let's just hope uh, their second half performance they can take to Thailand. Thailand moved two points ahead of Singapore right now, who need to go to Bangkok on Wednesday and get a result, a victory over there. The final score at the National Stadium, Singapore 1, Thailand 3.